Oh, hi there. Maybe you're wondering why I haven't posted a blog in the last month. That's because I've been busy and I haven't got around to it. But I'm going to change all that now. I'll take you through the things I've been doing for the last month. Let's watch. Okay, this is where the fun begins. Because, uh, as you can see here, I've got all these cars waiting in line to get into Dover High School. And I'm just going to, uh, roll right by these guys. As you can see, these guys are still waiting to start it. And I'm just rolling by them. Wasting gas, you know, not getting fitness value. Well, I am just you know, cruising along. Interesting, I know. But now let's take a look at parking behind school during sporting events. Do these look like parking spots to you? Because to me, it looks like a fire lane. And pricks are still parking it anyways, like they usually do at sports events. Amazing, I know. This is also one of my favorite parking spots. Parking in front of a freaking ramp, which is great for me trying to get out of here for my cycling bins. Always love that. What's this? Is that another one? Uh, yes it is, a truck parked it going the wrong way and uh, parked in a fire line again. What a complete jackass. Well my attendance has finally caught up with me, or did I should say, back early this month when I had ISS for skipping an administrative detention, which I skipped because I had ISS that day in addition to after school detention, so I decided to skip both of them. As of yet, I haven't been punished for skipping that ISS. I did, however, attend that at ISS, which was quite eventful, as you'll see. Well, I guess it wasn't very eventful at all. In fact, let's move on to the next topic. I was uh, very productive in pre-calculus, as you can see. Okay, so before Christmas was yearbook buying season, and they put up promotional posters around school. Let's take a look at those. Yearbooks on sale. Chess Master. C-H, money sign, M-A-S-T-A. First of all, there's no such thing as a chess master. It would be a grandmaster, which maybe they're trying to refer to. And why would a chess player write like that in a yearbook? And why would a chess player be wearing headphones while playing chess? Yo-yo. More like moron. Time to cool off. Stupid. You wouldn't understand. Now, I don't understand why the hell you'd use U-N-D-E-R-S-T ampersand instead of just stand. You save a whopping two letters in a yearbook when people are writing stupid crap like I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why the hell, I don't know why the hell would use that stupid text in a yearbook. Somebody please explain to me why or who would do this. Let's look further down. Together. To together, I'm assuming? I don't know. Again, why not just use T O G E T H E R? It's a lot uh, more intelligent, looks a lot less stupid, and you don't really uh, end up taking up that much more space. Asleep. I can see that one working. That's moderately okay. I don't know why I want a picture of a guy asleep in my yearbook, but that's not my problem. I can't believe it, and I say I can't believe that kid's never been beat up before if he's so enthusiastic about doing some science experiment. And then there's uh, D-I-K-U. What the hell does that stand for? I don't know. Somebody, you know, I am me, post a comment, let me know. Your books are full of messages and memories. What will yours be? None of those will be mine. I'll tell you that right now. If I did buy your book, which I won't, the people that I associate with will not be stupid enough to use these acronyms or truncated words. You also notice that these posters have a little bit of a religion in them, which would uh, correspond with the person who's in charge of the yearbook, because it says now until Christmas. 
And what if I don't celebrate Christmas? Price, $70. Another reason why I won't be getting into it, Justin's, because I don't feel like paying $70 for three years of kids I don't care about or know. And their memories and messages aren't mine. And furthermore, I don't feel like paying $3 in summer to be in the yearbook and then having to pay $70 to buy that photo back, which I already paid for. It's ridiculous when the company at school sells you your cap and gown, your class ring, and your yearbook, and has also been featured on The Simpsons 10 years ago. And the phrase was, Justin's, 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 which pretty well explains Justin's. I mean, where is the ring for the kid who comes late to class, for the loner, for the kid who's absent a lot? They don't have that ring. Now they do have a ring that's uh, for computers, but it's a like Commodore 64. And uh, I like to think that I have a little bit better than that in my household. And I think anybody who's into computers would uh, agree with that also. So having this little old computer, a good representation of what we're like. Over the last couple of months, I've been noticing that uh, girls around school seem to like to take their shoes off. And while some of them have attractive feet, I think it's uh, pretty disgusting considering how dirty the Dover High School floors are. So uh, I think we should try to curb that behavior because, like I said, it's really a nasty floor. Uh, I don't remember just about my shoes. I mean, ugh. If you guys ever been on the gym floor, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's so dusty and nasty and, you know, good feet with disgusting floors, just not a good mix. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap this uh, blog up. Thanks for watching. And uh, if we do meet again, why, we shall smile. If not, why then, this parting was well made.